storybook brawl. Uh, let's grab... Okay, I'm between Beauty and Pan Shadow. I don't like Horde Dragon very much because you have to get the triples and sometimes you just can't rely on that. And Grandmother really doesn't have much of a payoff until the end of the game. I like like transitioning into Grandmother off of like... Um, it was all a dream. But... I think I'm between these two. Beauty has a strong late game if you can get into like the monster slay comp. Pan Shadow is just very consistent though. So I think I'm going to grab them. Alright, here we are. No evil characters to speak of. However, we do have a pretty early Cinderella. So I'll just grab her. And see where we go from here. Alright, up against Mad Hatter. Don't really get to use his ability this early. Oh, that's great. I'm glad they did not get a Polywog Slay. Uh, we're gonna grab this evil unit. Uh, see, I wanna grab both of these. So we'll we'll lock. That way I can Witches Brew the Kitty Cup Purse and get progress on Cinderella and Wizards Familiar. All right, we're up against the Merlin, who can be pretty strong this early. Genie's Wish with him is, like, really crazy. So we, you're going to win this one, but Shrink Spell probably means they're setting up for a pretty big team. So I'm glad we got to fight them now. I'm going to grab the second Wizard's Familiar and then grow our cat. And then I suppose we can roll. There's no real reason not to. Yeah, I don't think I want any of this. And we're going to be level 3 next turn, so this looks pretty good to me. I am going to put Kitty Cut Purse in front in case we get to attack first. Um, odds aren't great that it kills, but, you know, might as well give it the shot, right? Okay, so we're looking at probably a full evil comp from Krampus. Okay, not as bad as we thought. We could actually, actually no, we do get a slay here. That's excellent for us. And then we'll tie. Alright, um, ooh, so we can do Princess mix -a whistle So we're probably winning this next fight, that's really strong. Um, now the question is, do I want Dragon, Baby Root, or Lucky? And I think I'm just going to take Lucky and get really, ooh. Oh, I don't know why I thought this was two. Um... Hmm. Suppose we'll take Baby Root then. And I'd rather give my three six three threes into three sixes, I think. So we can do something like this. Alright. Okay, trophy hunter. Ooh, that's really good for them. Yikes. So if they can find some slay stuff. Uh, they'll be pretty strong, I think. It's not going to beat our uh, Bearded Vulture, but we got pretty lucky and mixed the whistling into that. However, now that it's no longer a Vulture, it's a big princess, so a win-win in my book. Um, I'll take the discounted Witch of the West. Like, we're incentivized to take um, evil units, so that seems smart to me. And then gingerbread part. All right, there's a queen of hearts. I'm wondering if I should lock for that. Cause like ideally, we start getting into some evil units. I know that we're kind of heavily neutral good right now, but long term we'll be buying evil units with Pan Shadows discount. So I could see going for queen of hearts. I also wouldn't mind grabbing Spellweaver and then just trying for a spell comp, which we're kind of already set up to do with these Wizards Familiars and Cinderella. Either way, I think I'm going to lock here. And we'll actually have seven gold next round, so I could buy this, this, and this. And that sounds pretty good to me. Uh, right now we're up against Jack's Giant. I'm excited to see what they have. Jack's Giant comps are always so interesting to me. There's a lot of ways to use that extra health. Okay, we get a slay. This tree's pretty thick, not gonna lie. Oof. 
unfortunate. Peculiar support. So it looks like we lose this one. Our uh, princess just wasn't quite big enough, and that's okay. I didn't realize we were actually in first for a while there. So let's grab Spellweaver. Queen Spell. Don't really have any dragons. I suppose we'll take a spinning wheel. Then we have a 5-5, five five, which is better than the 4-4. Four 8-8 four. Eight is probably better than the 0-3 pumping thing. And then I guess we'll roll... Actually, no, let's just grab a fanny so we can sell next turn. Whenever you're about to hit the next level, I find it's better just to not roll ahead because you probably want to hit like a level 4 instead of finding more 3s. So then you just buy what you can, and this is effectively like banking up gold. We turned our two gold this turn into one gold next turn when we're at level four. Um, so yeah, that's my thought process there. And we'll have extra gold from Spinning Wheel. So I think we're pretty set up to do all right. I don't know if this is the right configuration, but this does seem okay to me. Versus the Fates. They're low right now, but if they can get enough triples, then they can end up being pretty strong. And this is a good way to scale forward. All right, I think we're gonna tie. No, we do win, just by a little bit. Excellent news for us. All right, so I like Sporko. Why is it a 4-4? Four four? I'm a little confused by that. But not complaining. Um, we'll put that here. I'm not really looking to triple fannies or anything. I don't... Well, I guess this is just straight up better than the cat. So we'll do that. We'll grab this spell because I'm quite fond of it. Uh, we could try to kiss Cinderella into a better level 3. But I don't know if I want to lock for that. I think I'd rather just keep spinning and there's a wretched mummy okay I think I think a deal damage equal to my attack to a random enemy there was there a so the game updated whenever I launched it but I think there was I didn't see any patch notes so I thought it was just minor stuff but apparently an actual patch hit Ooh. okay uh, let's Grab this mummy. All right, well, hey, new patch content, I suppose. All right, we get a slay there. Maybe that's why Spork is much bigger now. That's really good, though. A 4-4 four, four range. Or I guess it'd be a 3-3, three, three, right? Because we got the uh, gingerbread house earlier. Oh, six, and so now I have to check everything. What did I miss? This needs to be plus three, so they, they buffed that. Uh, yeah, we'll take this triple. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. That's a pretty good one for us to find, just because it synergizes with all the evil stuff. And we can get, like, discounted creatures with Pan Shadow. Um, do I want to move into Slay? I mean, I'm already a little bit in Slay. So yeah, that's the, I don't know, this is much worse of an effect, but down to level 3 is not bad at all. Like, they, they really just changed how mummy works. So what do I want to do here? I like the idea of grabbing double cup chupacabra, because that can really, really scale. And now you're kind of incentivized to make a pretty big mummy. I'm really not sure what to do here. Because I feel like the creatures that we have are all bigger than these. So I'm wondering if it's just too late, but like we're already, we're just now hitting level four. 
Let's grab him and try to make something work, I think. No, uh, that can't be right. We'll do something like this. Okay, lots of creatures. Hopefully we get a sleigh here. We get a sleigh, excellent. No more sleighs for us though. Uh, I think we do lose this. They're just very strong. Ouch. Okay, so we'll triple the Chupacabra, which should help us a bit. I like the extra health. Then we're gonna grab, I suppose the queen. Candy rain. Donkey. It looks like they buffed the donkey a bit too. Arthur's the same. Looks like they buffed the friendly spirit. Or actually, I might be. Yeah, I think I think this is applying to them. <laughs> so those are not all buffs. Disregard me. But I'm pretty sure Sparkle did get buffed. And they definitely changed the mummy. So then, then let's run. Hmm. I kind of want the I want the mummy to get buffed up though. Is the thing. I guess this is fine. I want to find a better support than the evil support. Like another Sporko for the Chupacabra to buff up. I could just put this back here. Actually, I don't hate that. We don't really have a steady... Like, we're kind of Slay, but we don't have the Shadow Assassins. Uh, we're kind of Spell, but we don't have any huge spell payoffs. We're definitely deep in the evil tank with the Queen and Pan's Shadow. Oh, I really like the new mummy. Ooh, I think we win. Excellent. Sorry, I haven't even paid attention. We've lost some health here. The 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 stealth patch threw me off. <laughs> um, do I, I don't think I want wombats. Shoulder fairies could be good. But I don't have any good units, so probably not. I like Poison Apple when I'm running Slay because it just helps make sure things actually die. There we go. We'll take a Babiaga. And then we'll take a triple. My Slay characters have plus three, plus three. So the only Slay characters I have are these two, but I kind of don't hate that. It's probably better than spinning wheel at this point. All right, so I'm level five and I, you know, I have Baba Yaga, so I'm actually feeling pretty solid. I, Merlin, apparently these two haven't lost very many games, so they're scaring me. And there's always a chance that these two make a, a comeback. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, well, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just still thrown for a loop. I looked for patch notes. I just assumed it was like maintenance or something. No, Baba Yaga! That's disappointing. Oh well. And no sleigh is there either. Wow, she's huge. What the heck? What happened? Well, it is what it is, I suppose. Uh, we'll grab a neon, neon, so that I can hopefully get a level five treasure. Then we'll buff this because I feel like. It just needs to be bigger. Um, I like Southern Siren. So we can kind of transition into a monsters comp for the late game. And I think I like that. There's double Siren here. And we have the mummy. So let's see. We can sell the mage, sell Weaver, sell this. Southern Siren. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have sold that. Because <laughs> now this goal is just going to go to waste. 
Hmm. Although I guess it's effectively the same thing, right? If I sell one of these and the Ion, then finding a Southern Siren will triple me. Okay, let's go for the monsters. I'm gonna sell this, which is familiar, which seems really bad. But it means that um, long term we can look at uh, monster comps with Jormungand and the Oni King. And I think that's where I want to be. This is going to be a pretty competitive uh, top five. We're up against the Ghost, but they were pretty strong. And right, we get a Slay. And again, we're not really scaling any Shadow Assassins with these Slays, so it's a little awkward. Uh, that's not good for us. That is good for us. That's bad for us. However, I don't think they have the uh, power just to punch through this queen. So yeah, we're good. We're going to triple this, which is excellent. The Ninth Book of Merlin. Your mages have last breath cast a random spell. Yo, that's insane. Don't really have any mages. I guess I have this. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Everything is a book. I like that a lot. Huh. Well, we're not in a position to take it, even though I do like it. Um, we're going to take Dracula's Saber and get rid of Corrupted Hardwood, because we're kind of off the animal plan. We're going to grab this, we're going to grab this, we're going to grab this. We're going to roll, and we're going to roll. Um, I sub... <sighs> no. I you Okay. I posted on Reddit advice for the last time I played Skip, and one thing I kept doing was locking to get doubles in the prospects of a triple whenever like there's no level three treasure that outweighs uh, getting a good six at this point and some very nice people uh explained that to me as a point that like i could improve my game so i think i'm gonna take that lesson and apply it here and not grab this vampire that way we can potentially hit a good six we're against the first placed Merlin. So that's pretty scary, not gonna lie. Chulaka. Okay, so they went into dwarves, and I don't think we're gonna get any slaves here, unfortunately. Oh, I am wrong. We got some slaves. Ooh, but they have Tree of Life. Uh, well, actually, I think we win this one. We do win. Awesome. We beat the first place person. So. Da, da, da. We need to find Jormagand or Oni King, I think. Because this queen has been carrying us thus far, but she's not going to keep carrying us forever. Um, I don't have a lot of synergy with Doom Breath. <sighs> yeah, we really need to find... Okay. Pumpkin King is in. I think I like that more than the mummy at this point. However, I don't like it being in the front line. So we're going to do this, which is super awkward. But I don't have much of a choice. And then next turn, we're going to get ourselves a level 5 treasure, I think. Okay, we're up against Geppetto. And last time we played them, they absolutely wrecked us. Hopefully it's not too bad. They have double Baristine? My gosh. Talk about a high roll. I mean, we're losing this one. Almost certainly. Look at that, uh, why am I spacing so hard? Echo Wood. Wow. Well, we're putting up a fight. We might actually clear everything that's not an Echo Wood. Roll a Medusa. No Medusas. Cause that could have like gotten us out, you know? 
Oh, five damage on the Eggwood. Excellent. Hopefully this doesn't kill us. Okay, it shouldn't. This should just be seven damage, I think. Yeah. They are incredibly strong, though. So we're going to grab this. Grab this. Okay, I like Monkey's Paw. But Horn of Olympus doubling all of these slaves? Let's do that, I think. A monkey's Paw is pretty good. No, 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 no. Let's do this. And then... These mummies aren't particu particularly fancy. I don't think I want to lock with this triple. I'm just going to roll. I'm going to grab Lightning Bolt. Is this 22-22 monster better than anything else? I don't think it's better than Queen of Hearts because I mean, it is four more health, but if any anything dies, then she's gonna be bigger. So I think I'm happy with, with where we're at. I feel a little underpowered next to these two, but we'll have to see how it goes. All right, Krampus, show us what's up. All right, so they're kind of doing what I wanted to do, which was move into the monster comp with Oni King. Ah, that's unfortunate. Oh, okay. Okay, that's great for us. I think that seals it right here. Yep, 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 yep. Well, that was great. They're not dead, unfortunately. Um, let's keep rolling. Uh, actually, I do think I'm gonna, it was all a dream here. Let's see if I can find something. Let's see, I don't have any two or three treasures, right? I guess I have Cloak of the Assassin, but. Um, Peter Pants, I don't think is good. These are all terrible. Like, I think Celestial Tiger is legitimately the best one. I don't think Peter Pants is very good for me. Okay. I guess it doubles up Cloak of the Assassin. Ooh. Yeah, that's just better than Sporko. Sorry, Sporko. And I bust a whole team, and I get to lock for another It Was All a Dream and Great Pumpkin King. Yes, I like this. So we're in a precarious position. Um, we've got to beat Merlin, which we beat them last time. And yeah, we've only grown since then, but they probably have to. So I'm looking forward to it. All right, don't be too crazy. Oh, dwarves, I forgot that's what they were on. But we do get a slay. Okay, that was excellent for us. Yes! <laughs> and Baba Yaga doubled it. Right, okay. That was absurd. Man, we're gonna do a lot of damage here. All right, they're out. Sorry, Merlin, wow. Yeah, uh, that's just a good old Southern Siren kill. So we'll sell a mummy grab this and then we're gonna try a new hero again so Krampus buffs everything Galahad buffs us when we get well he actually got nerfed this maybe I was playing Galahad wrong but he didn't seem worthy of a, a nerf um I guess I'll take Krampus so we're in second place behind Geppetto Okay, there's a Dromagon. Is it too late though? Like, well, okay. My creatures are getting plus three here, plus two here, so plus 13 attack. Hmm. I mean, I'm locking for Dromagon. There's no way I'm not doing that. Although he's not evil, that's the thing. Maybe I don't. 
because I'm kind of relying on Queen of Hearts and Great Pumpkin King. Should I swap out Queen of Hearts for... I don't think so. Let's roll. <sighs> Maybe that was wrong. I'm actually pretty stumped on that one. Let's see if it even matters. They are so strong. I mean, yeah, we're not going to beat this uh, Echo Wood, if, if anything else, right? It's okay, though. Their team is excellent. Wow, 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 wow. So they have double... Oh, wait, does this mean they get plus 200 Fairy Dust because of the Mimic? That's sick. Wow. Well played, the King of Apples. The King of this game, more like. GG. Oh, oh. Emote? No emotes? Okay. Alright, hey, second place. Feels pretty good. I think our comp was a little haphazard. We kind of we went a little slay, we went a little, went a little spell, we tried to stay evil, which kind of hurts the slay build. Um, but all in all, we got second place. Um, I feel like we adapted to things pretty well. Um, we snowballed well. And in the end, we lost to a incredible uh, Geppetto team and you know we could have pegged them for the winner halfway through the game like their board was just excellent so uh, GG's to them GG's to everyone else in the lobby and uh, thank you guys for watching I'll see you next time